What is going on, AP people? We have a push review, the bank war for you today. All about Andrew Jackson and his love for killing things, especially the Bank of the United States. So let's get going. All right, we're going to review the Bank of the United States, or the buses, and there were two buses. The first bus was part of Alexander Ham Hamilton's financial plan and was chartered from 1791 to 1811, so 20 years. The second bus is also chartered for 20 years. And it's from 1816 to 1836. There's a five-year time period where there is no bus. And this is a part of Henry Clay's American system, the second bus. And also the constitutionality of the bus was upheld by John Marshall, the Chief Justice of the Supreme Court, in the court case McCulloch versus Maryland. If you want more info on this court case, check out my video, A Push Review, Key Court Cases under John Marshall. Now, what are the purpose of the buses? Well, they are to provide a storage place for government funds. And also, it could help improve the economy by helping to circulate money. But all that said, Andrew Jackson still hated it. All right, we're going to talk about the election of 1832. The election occurred in November of 1832. And on July 10th, 1832, President Jackson's veto message was written on that date. In November of 1832, the election was between Jackson, a Democrat, and Henry Clay, a National Republican, who would soon form the political party, the Whigs. And the bus veto was essentially a referendum. So the bus was rechartered before the election to make it an election issue. And Andrew Jackson, when he vetoed it, he said, I have now done my duty to my country. If sustained by my fellow citizens, I shall be grateful and happy, meaning if they reelect him. If not, I shall find in the motives which impel me ample grounds for contentment and peace. So in other words, I vetoed it. The country has about five months to think about it. If they agree with me, they'll re-elect me. And if they don't, then they'll elect Henry Clay. And Andrew Jackson was re-elected by a landslide. He wins 219 electoral votes. Henry Clay only wins 49. Sad day for Henry Clay. However, though, the second bus is still around for four more years. It doesn't expire until 1836. Again, Henry Clay and his buddies purposely had the recharter of the bus come up at this time in hopes of making Andrew Jackson lose the election for vetoing the bus. Okay, so the bus has four years to live, but Andrew Jackson wants to kill it soon. So after the election of 1832, Jackson sought to limit the power of the bus for the next four years, especially this guy, Nicholas Biddle, who was the president of the second bus. So Jackson decides he's going to remove all government funds from the bus and place them in pet banks. And one of the architects of this was at that time the Secretary of Treasury, Roger B. Tawney, who goes on to be the fifth Chief Justice when John Marshall dies. And pet banks were state banks that held the government's money. So he took all the government money out of the bus and put them in many different pet or state banks throughout the country. Without the government money, the bus began to call in loans, and this led helped lead to a huge panic, and people were having their homes and farms foreclosed on, and it helped create a financial crisis. Also, the government required species circular for land sold in the West, so it required hard money or gold if anybody was to purchase land out West from the government. So these two things, these two problems, the bus calling in its loans, in addition to the species circular, was a problem for the American economy. All right, thank you very much for watching. That is everything you need to know about the bank war. Please take a moment, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. Take 15 seconds and help me spread the word. Throw this on Pinterest, Twitter, Facebook, Vine, you name it. Please help me spread the word. I want to reach as many people as possible. If you have any questions, comments, or ideas, feel free to leave them in the section below. Thank you very much for watching and have a good day, guys.